A lot has been made over the last few years about the dangers of identity theft, and you've probably taken steps to make sure that you don't become a victim. But did you know your child is still a target for identity thieves? Joining us now with some tips on protecting your kids from identity theft is Stacy Bradford. She is the family finance blogger for CBSMoneyWatch.com. Stacy, good morning to you. Hi, thank you for having me on today. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Let's go back two years ago. Five percent of all identity theft complaints came from children younger than one. It's just so surprising because it's not a crime that we think of with children, let alone infants. Who's getting their hands on this information? But actually, infants are the perfect victim because parents aren't looking out for this crime, so it can go undetected for longer and they could steal more money. The scariest part about this whole thing is that children are most vulnerable right now, back to school time. That's right, because during the back to school season, any parent will tell you that the schools are always asking them for information. And the information they want is exactly what ID thieves are looking for. Full name, address, social security number, birthday. They've got it all right there. Let's talk about this now, uh, how to protect your child, because we are in that season of going back to school. That social security number, it is like the combination to the lock. You want to make sure that you keep that secret. Well, a lot of schools will ask for it, especially if you're signing your child up for kindergarten. But it's not always required to just ask. And if it is, just make sure that they're actually keeping those papers in a very safe place. And of course, if you have a child, you want to label everything that you send to school with them, the backpacks, the lunch boxes. You say that's not always such a good idea. Well, you can label it, but you don't have to go to a catalog and put their name right on the outside. Instead, consider putting it on the inside where a stranger can't see it as readily. To the computer now, one in five children report doing something their parents would not approve of online. Online, it's almost like a criminal's playground for children. You're absolutely right. And what's so important is that parents probably don't realize that so many kids have blogs and websites and they're on Facebook right. and they're divulging all this information and that makes them very vulnerable. And sometimes putting things out there they don't even know they're not supposed to be putting out That's there. That's right. All right. Many kids have personal email accounts as well. One click you can get rid of all that junk email but it's a good idea to actually check that junk email. Well, that's right. If somebody were to get a credit card solicitation for a child at home, they might think nothing of it. But actually, that means that your kid might have had his personal information stolen. Now, if that happens, don't panic, but do call the three credit bureaus and ask for the fraud department and discuss the problem and see if they can look into it. Now, if my identity has been stolen, I want to get a credit report check or I want to get my credit check. Ironically, that's not a good idea for the kids. That's true. That's a very good point. For adults, you do it once a year, but for a child, by doing that, you're actually creating a credit file. And when you do that, it's actually easier to open accounts and steal that child's identity. That's amazing. Child identity theft, medical identity theft, identity theft in general. There's so many moving parts to this. Stacy Bradford from CBSMoneyWatch.com. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much.